Hey my loves, it's your girl Mary J. Welcome back to yet another video. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I did this natural be beginner friendly makeup that I got going on right here. So if you're just learning how to do makeup or you want to learn some more how to dive and dive into makeup, this is the video right here for you. If this is the first time you have seen my face or visiting my channel, please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe and enjoy. <laughs> Starting off, we are going to be doing our brows. I'm going to be going in with my brow pencil. I got this from my local beauty supply. It is but a dollar. You can use anything really to fill in your brows. Just make sure that is a nice dark color. And I am just nicely filling in my brows here as you see me doing. Um, please be mindful when you're filling out your brows. Um, you want to do thinner strokes in the front of your brows and then darker strokes as you proceed um filling in your brows so therefore they look as natural as possible Next, I am going in with my spoolie again and I'm brushing my brows and making sure they are all going in one direction. And now I am going to be cleaning up my brows. I am using LA Girl Pro Concealer. I absolutely love these concealers. I'm going in with two colors, um, one lighter and one darker one. The lighter color that I am using is Fawn and I am using that to clean the bottom part of my eyebrows and then I will be using beautiful bronze to clean the top of my eyebrows. I have no idea why this video keeps on pausing. I do apologize for that. This has never happened to me before. So I do not know the reason, but I, I apologize and I hope that you can still um, follow along with me. What I'm doing here is I am using a blending brush to just buff out the concealer that I just used to clean my brows and I am just buffing it out and smoothing it out into my lid and this is also going to help me um, prep my eyelids for my eyeshadow. And that is it for my brows. Keep in mind, brows are cousins and they're not twin sisters, so they do not absolutely have to look alike. But do try your best to make sure they look as similar as possible. And being a beginner, and I'm sure the brows is going to be very difficult, but with practice, you sure um, you are sure to get it and you're going to be fine. Now I am just prepping my eyelids with the same fawn concealer that I used and I am getting it ready for my eyeshadow. Mm -hmm. 
for eyeshadow i am going to be using credit in my anastasia and jackie Ines palette and because this is a beginner friendly um look i am only going to be using one shadow today that's how simple it is guys just pick a shadow of your choice and we're just going to apply it all over your lid In applying this one shade, you want to make sure you blend it out as seamlessly as possible. So therefore, there's no harsh lines and it just melts on your eyelids. Next, I am going in with my Huda Beauty, <laughs> Huda Beauty um, liquid liner and I'm going to be doing a wing liner. I did this as simply as possible. First, I just drew a straight line on my eyelid before proceeding to attach the wings. So this is a very, very crucial step, guys. And being that this is a beginner friendly uh, makeup look, you can go without it. But just to give the look an extra oomph. Um, I recommend you just attempt to do a wing liner, even if it's not as long, but just attempt, um, to do one practice makes perfect guys. in um attempting to do um a perfect liner looking down into the mirror really helps because it um it allows you to see your whole eyelid and it allows you to shape the wing according to how you would like it Next, I am going to be applying some mascara to my, um, what do you call this? To my lashes. <laughs> I'm applying mascara to my lashes and prepping it for my falsies. Guys, I have no idea where I got these lashes from. No idea at all, but they are so bomb. And I'm just mad at the fact that I don't know where I got them from. So here I'm just testing them out, making sure that they fit my eyes. And if they don't, simply just cut um, um, the access off. Make sure it fits your eyes perfectly. And I am going to be using my dual lash glue to um, apply these lashes onto my eyelids. The trick to applying your lashes is you want to look into the mirror. You want to look down into the mirror and use a tweezer to grab your lashes and apply it directly on your lash line. You can use your fingers as a guide to help you um, place the lashes and also secure them.
Next, I am going to be using my Hydro Grip Primer and I'm going to be priming my face with a flat makeup brush and prepping it for my foundation. For foundation, I am using the Fenty Beauty um, Liquid Foundation and I am going to be showing you guys how to apply it with both using a foundation brush and also a beauty blender. Um, both works fine. I personally prefer uh, um, the brush because it's just a little quicker than the, um, than the beauty blender. But I am going to be showing you guys how to apply your foundation using both. And both works fine. It's just a preference. In applying your foundation, guys, please, 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 please do not forget to apply it on your neck area and underneath your chin as well. Please, because it's going to blend in seamlessly. We don't want to see where your foundation starts and where your foundation ends. So please get your right shade and also blend it down to your neck. Next, I am going to be using my Fenty Beauty Pro um, Concealer and I am Pro Filter Concealer and I'm going to conceal my face. So I am going to apply concealer underneath my eyes, the bridge of my nose, my Cupid's bow, Cupid's bow my chin as well as my forehead. I am going to be using the same beauty blender and I'm going to blend that out. Guys, blend, blend, blend. If you think you have to blend some more, blend some more because you want your concealer to be so seamless. You don't want it to have any flashbacks and part of having flashback is not having your right concealer shade. So do go light but not too light. Like if you're somebody that wants a nice bright under under um under highlighter, I should say, um you can use a setting powder a lighter setting powder but please make sure your concealer is not overly too bright where you get flashbacks Next, using my Fenty Beauty Cream Contour or Cream Bronzer, that's what it's called, um, I am going to contour. Contour it, Contouring is really where your makeup starts to come together because you're now beginning to sculpt your face and slim it up a little bit. So think of it as you're snatching your face. The shadows of the contour really helps to slim out your face and make thing and makes your nose and your cheekbones real high and slim next i am using my fenty beauty um setting powder this color is in nutmeg and i am going to use this setting powder to apply on all the areas that i applied my concealer so that again is under my eyes the bridge of my nose uh, my cupid's bow my chin and my forehead and i'm also going to use it to reverse contour and that is simply placing the powder underneath my jaws where i have contoured that gives you an um, illusion of your face slimming down and your cheekbones being a lot higher
The trick to applying a setting powder, it is to press the powder into your skin. Um, I know some people bake. I personally do not bake anymore because I am realizing that um, just simply pressing the powder into your skin is enough. And it keeps my makeup lasting all day and it keeps my T-zone um, oil free. So I personally say that you do not have to bake, but if you like baking, you can go ahead. That is a personal preference. I just don't do it. Using my powder bronzer, I am going to be bronzing my face, bringing back some warmth into the skin. And this shade is in Mocha Mommy. I absolutely love this bronzer. It just brings back some of the warmth and it kind of brings your face back to life after contouring. Next, I am using my MAX um, skin powder and I'm going to be applying this all over my face just to blend everything in together and get rid of any harsh lines and just bringing the look together you know that's what powder does for you it just ties in all the areas that you have applied the setting powder as well as your contour just to blend everything in and make everything look seamlessly and it is also important to make sure you have the correct shade so please 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 have the correct shade Next, I'm using my highlighter. This one is from Morphe. I absolutely love this highlighter. It is my go-to. I am going to be using a fluffy brush and I'm just going to be um, highlighting my face. So I placed it in my cheekbones, the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow, um, and on my chin, just to give me some glow. And I'm using my um, beauty blender just to blend it in a little bit. So therefore it does not just um, stick out on my face I'm making sure that it blends in seamlessly next I'm going to be doing my favorite lip combo this is one and only this is a brown lip liner that I got from my local beauty supply and I'm just going to be lining my lips and then I am going to be using perfect nude by Sephora love that lip gloss and I'm just going to apply that completely over it and this is my go-to lip combo it is really cute and it just is very simple and you can apply this lip combo for your everyday makeup look, which is the idea of this video. Next, I am going to be setting my face and that would be it. I am using, actually in this bottle is the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray. And that is all guys. This makeup was nice and simple. Thank you guys for watching. I love you guys for all of your support and I'll catch you in another one.